everybody, welcome to our closing ceremonies. And in the House Foreign Affairs Committee, best delegate goes to Benjamin Daniel with honorable mentions to Sophia Valero and from Hoboken High School, Sage Green. And in the House Oversight and Government Reform, his best delegate goes to Akeem Derivin with honorable mentions to Ann St. Lawrence and Mara Reba. And in the special programs for the National Economic Council, we have best delegate goes to Metsaka Fiona with honorable mention to Lily Longmani and Julia Pritz from Hoboken High School. I had a really good experience overall. This year, like, it went a lot better. I was able to, like, once I actually did a lot of the research and was able to form an argument, it became really interesting. It's all, the only thing that matters is the experience and learning, like, you know, how the, how the process works. So I don't, I, I don't see like rewards as anything special as long as you got something out of it. The whole day was really fun. I think it was like fun getting to know everybody and also getting a lot more comfortable like talking because in the beginning I would write every single thing I said was going to say on a Google Doc and I'd read it word for word and then as the time went on I'd just like raise my hand randomly and say something and just like getting more comfortable with it it was a lot of fun. Everyone was like what grade are you in and I was like oh I'm a freshman and so is Alex and they were like what and I think that was kind of fun. It was really nice um I think like our um committee actually kept getting along better throughout the weekend, which was really nice. At the end, someone's like, we have another proposal to introduce. And I was so confused, but then um, a bunch of people had written um, Bill um, to send Mark Zuckerberg to Mars. These boys kept interrupting me when I was trying to prove my point. And then I came in the next day and I crushed them and I got them to change part of their bill. Well, actually I got them to change a lot of their bill. And then my bill ended up getting passed over theirs anyway in the presidential cabinet. So that was really fun for me. It was like way better than what I thought it would be. Like I just remember like a few of us like on Friday being like, oh no, we have all this homework. And then on top of this, we have to be like on a computer for like six hours a day. But like, then we were all texting on the chat like, oh no, I'm gonna miss it. It was so much fun. Seeing some people and how they work. And like, I just feel like I learned so much from like the people that were in my committee had a very good experience. Everyone was very nice. Like there were six bills and they all got passed. So there was a lot of like agreement in our committee. I, I spoke more than I expected. I expected to just go in and like not really talk except for like in unmoderated caucuses, but I talked in like almost every moderated caucus. And yeah, I, I think I did pretty good. Very clear, like in the one on voting rights, like you always brought like really good, um, you always had like so many facts to back up like all of your claims. In the last bill, everyone's starting to get along, but in a way that was, at least in my opinion, highly unrealistic and not gonna get anything done. So I left the whole group and made my own bill. I'm very happy with my experience. I talked a lot. Um. Like the chairs, I could try. I talk, tried to talk. Like I think I talked almost every unmod, or um, I mean moderated. I didn't author any bills, but I did. I was an author on that like disaster response plan, which like actually did work in the end. You know, I had a lot of fun and um, very excited for next year. You know, it was a lot. It was a lot of fun seeing how everyone kind of interacted with each other. And as it went on, I kind of did get that confidence. I have like a really good experience on Friday, like I was really nervous and like really scared and by the end and I thought like I was like really sad that it was over and I was like shocked in a way that I was like so sad and like that I was gonna like miss everyone and next time I like want to be even more aggressive and like talk for as much as I as possible. Yeah, I feel like as the competition went on, like, I had even more fun and, like, I was more comfortable. Like, I feel like I learned so much from, like, everyone else there and just having to, like, kind of talk on your feet and, um, mm. so, yeah, I, was, I can't wait for next year. Harvard Model Congress is always terrifying at the start. You're always on your boots and you're always thinking, what do I do? What do I say? But once you actually get up there to talk and once you actually like are up there and speak your mind, the ball just keeps rolling because you get the confidence after that one time that you speak that you think to yourself, hey, I did it. So that's what happened to me. That's what I can see from uh, a lot of uh, the people here. Um, 
as long as you see improvement, as long as you learn from yourself, your other people or other delegates, then that's all that really matters.